Hey guys, it's Tom Stricken. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be an update on the light bar you see here and all the functions, the install, and exactly how I wired it throughout my vehicle. So stay tuned and I'll show you a couple clips of the uh, flash patterns and the actual install inside the car. Looking from the inside of the vehicle towards the trunk, you can see I actually have it wired up right up underneath the center uh, passenger seatbelt that's on the roof. And it goes down through there, down inside the panel, down inside that panel, all the way throughout the floorboard, past my seatbelt, along the harness of the vehicle, up on there under the dashboard, and the column switch I'll show you in one second. The light bar itself comes with a very small switch panel. It has this switch and that button mounted on a very small little circular piece. I took that piece apart and drilled a couple holes in here in my center console and I mounted the on off switch and the pattern selector switch right here. So all I got to do, flick it up and the light turns on and I can push this button here to scroll through the patterns. So there you have it folks, that's the light bar. I think it's a great piece of kit to have in your personally owned vehicle or your cruiser or your fire truck or what have you. So for a hundred something bucks, you can't go wrong with it. The amount of light that's being produced by this light bar is absolutely intense. You can see it, it's a bright sunny day. It's about 50, 60 degrees. And the light being produced on here is incredible, absolutely incredible. I mean, I can see the flashback on the uh, camera shroud. It, it's a, it's a, an intense amount of light. For the money, you cannot go wrong having this light bar in your vehicle. So I'll link it below. I think it's a great investment. And uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, post them below. If you guys have this light bar or anything like it, post it below as well. Post a video. And um, I'll definitely link the store that I picked this up off of. It's on uh, eBay. Great guys. I actually contacted them. And uh, they contacted me back. And uh, really good guys. I uh, offered a piece of advice to increase the length of cable being supplied with the light bar from the light bar to the actual master switch. In this particular unit, it wasn't enough. I just added in about 13, 15 feet of extra wire, which was nothing. Very simple job. If you can install this, you can add the extra wire. It's no big deal. Um, otherwise, I, I think for the money, you're getting an incredible light bar. And if uh, you guys want to check out the initial review of this light bar, before it was installed, I ran it off of a battery inside my office. Uh, you guys could do that as well. I'll link that below as well. Or I'll probably annotate it on the bottom here. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and it's been I'm Stricken, out.